Welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday, my name is Ruben and this is my review for Apple's original TV series Shrinking. Shrinking was a series I knew nothing about it, but I saw the two main protagonists on the poster and he said, you know what, I'm going to give that a go. And after starting it, I watched the entire nine episodes, which was pretty easy because they're half an hour, just over half an hour long. So it's a fairly quick binge, but it's still nine episodes to be invested in. But once I started, I literally couldn't put it down like a good book that has you turning the page, every episode had me turning to the next episode. But will you be as invested as I was? Let's get into it. A grieving therapist starts to tell his clients exactly what he thinks, ignoring his training and ethics. He finds himself making huge changes to people's lives, including his own. So Jason Siegel is one of the creators, one of the three creators of the show and obviously one of the main protagonists. I think an argument could be made he is the main protagonist. And then we have the other two psychiatrists, other one that is the head psychiatrist, owns the practice, Harrison Ford who plays Paul, and Gabby, who's played by Jessica Williams. And that is a surrogate family in of itself. You go to the practice and you get to see them working with their clients. And then the other half of this story is how we see Jason Segal's character, Jimmy, deal with the loss of his wife. We start at a place where it's been a year on and he's kind of let everything go. He has a daughter named Alice, who I think is 16 or 17, played by Lakuta Maxwell. And she is having to deal with the loss of her mom herself. This is all the beginnings. It starts at a really dark place. His best friend, his gay best friend, he just kind of left to the wayside. All the people involved in his life, he's either had to look after him and his daughter while he just goes on a massive bender and spirals out of control. Until eventually there's a like an, an event in his mind and he starts wanting to try and put his life back together and that's where he takes a turn or it takes a turn in using his practice or his clients and wanting you know what i don't want this for you anymore i need to change up i've been with you for 20 years and i have still seen you not to do anything different and that's how we get introduced to some of his other psychiatrists sean who is also a main protagonist acted by Luke Tenney. Are you yawning right now? Uh, it's a wonderful addition to this cast. It's difficult for me to go in and review this without talking about almost every character because every character is so well fleshed out. Even though we concentrate on Jimmy, when Jimmy interacts with the others, we get to see a lot of what's going on with them as the episodes go by. I would say there isn't a complete story arc in this. It's more a snapshot in the life of, not in the day of, but in the, in the life of Jimmy. Uh, and you get to experience their life. And you rarely see psychiatrists needing to be <laughs> under the chair themselves. They kind of look after each other as a family. And towards the end, I was just so in love with this series. I mean, can you be in love with this series? I think, I think this is my favorite series so far. And in a long time, it manages to... I guess capture your heart at an emotional level with almost every character involved. Harrison Ford was a character I was worried about because I know he's old but I haven't seen him play anything other than indie Star Wars uh, of late and he is getting on a bit so the, the the times I've seen him being in interviews I have worried a little bit like can he still act in that way holding the audience? Yeah absolutely I'm sorry to even start thinking that. Get out of here. He's got the charisma in spades, but he also has the emotional range when given the opportunity. It took you longer than it should have. I haven't seen him being given the opportunity um, recently, but I'm so glad that he is in this series as a almost father figure to the rest of the team, to Gabby and Jimmy. He also has his own shit to deal with, and we get to see him do that with his family, relationships that he gets involved with. We need to see Jimmy move on with his life and reconnect with his daughter, and the emotional turmoil that we go through with him and his daughter, Alice, um, is heartbreaking and hilarious. And that's where the balance of this comedy half an hour, it's like, it's a definitely dark comedy drama, half an hour moments. And every line is so well written that it moves the arc forward, but also can have you laughing out loud because of the, the circumstance the characters find themselves in, what they end up doing, 
or how they are bickering with each other in dialogue that's genuinely funny and genuinely feels like they've known each other for years. This is just face. I have resting dead wife face. <laughs> feels like they've been doing this series for six or seven and yet you know it's early days and it's new but they are a family unit i can't imagine how great it would have been to be on set with these guys as they're creating and del del delivering their dialogue one of the other characters that i absolutely loved in this series christina miller you'll recognize her as the wife or one of the wives um in scrub series loving to see her acting but her timing comedic timing is such a key thing to get right. Jimmy! Liz! Hey! It's three in the morning. Delivery of dialogue and lines is a thing. I'm sorry. What's in that bowl? Pretzels. The other bowl. Maybe some painkillers. Maybe? That's so hard to get right, but if you do and you'll nail it, it's brilliant. And I honestly can't think that there was a weak episode, a weak moment, a weak actor. It just feels like the direction of this nailed it on the head as a first time series just coming out of the gate with a new ip fresh different just giving us a look at life with these actors i i was just like wow 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 this this was great emotional hard hitting but genuinely burst out loud laugh out loud gasp moments and that's all I want from this series. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as, good as it was. I'm going to give this five Nicholas Cages out of five. <laughs> you got one. Congratulations. There's nothing I want different except for more. Much more. And by the way they leave it, I think they do plan on giving us more. Who knows how long we have to wait for. Well, Harrison Ford as well as being one of the main protagonists. He doesn't have as much dialogue or lines or moments in the first few episodes and that had me a little bit worried as if he was just a name with few dialogue but the latter episodes he really does give some moments to shine jason siegel may this may be his best work um you've seen him use comedy moments and dry drama moments and how i met your mother and other you know the judd apatow type of films but here he really gets the grips with the drama and comedy in tangent with each other and it works very well uh, I loved seeing him in this. Everybody brings their A-game. Acting, cinematography in telling you, like it's not like, wow, look at that in cinematography, but it's getting you to feel the emotion, using the right lens, drawing you in with that kind of snapshot or draw in slower, or just letting it sit with that emotion wonderful piece of storytelling i hope everybody just at least if you don't have apple tv get yourself a, a free month that you can sign up to and just watch that show because i guarantee you will love it thanks so much for watching let me know your thoughts and feelings are you excited about this series i'm excited about season two thanks so much for watching but most of all until next time remember live long on tuesday <laughs>